Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to bridge some playing cards. If you haven't figured it out already, this is a continuation of the shuffle card tutorial. The link is in the top right corner. Make sure you go watch that video and then come back to this one. Here is our end result from that tutorial and the first thing that we're going to need to do is extend the timeline. Since we're adding in a lot of animation, we're going to extend the timeline to 2.30. Next up, I'm going to select some of these keyframes and then move them over to the side. So all of these ones right here, I'm going to press G and just move them over until that keyframe reaches the end right there. This is where we're going to add in the bridge effect in between these keyframes. How this is going to work is we're going to split the playing cards into different collections and the different collections is what's going to be storing the animation. So one collection is going to have the cards going up. Another one is for the shuffle effect coming down. And then finally, this main collection is just going to have all of these effects right here. I'm going to press the M key with all of the cards selected and then move them to their own collection. And I'm going to call it shuffle. Then we're going to go to that collection by hitting two on our keyboard. The next step is to make sure that they're completely flat. This will make it a lot easier to animate the bridge effect. So we're going to flatten them out. I'm going to go into front view. And then I'm going to come over here, select all of them and make sure the bottom one is the active object by just selecting it. Then you can press the N key and we can see here, here's the location. I'm going to add a keyframe on frame 86 right here. I'm going to hit I and add in a location keyframe. Then we're going to jump to 95, select the X location, holding alt, I will select it, left click, and that will flatten them out. Then we're gonna do the same thing, I and add in a location keyframe. We're gonna come over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Go to frame 86, select the bottom one, and then I'll box select the rest of them. I'm gonna add in a location keyframe, so hit I, location. Skip to frame 95, and then come over to the location transformation, holding the Alt key, I will select the X, and then just left click. I, location. So there we go, we have an animation of them coming together and this is gonna make it much easier. Next, we're gonna to go to frame 95 and then duplicate these cards. The reason we're duplicating it is because of the origin point. If we select the origin point, you will see that it's right here. We're gonna be using the simple deform modifier and this bends the card based on where the origin point is. Now there is a way to add in an object to be the bend point, but doing it this way will make it much more complicated. We'd have to animate where the location is for the empty or whatever object that we use. And it's just going to be a big pain. Doing it this way is going to make it much easier. So what we're going to do is select the bottom card right here, shift D and then right click. And then we're going to move it to its own collection. I'm going to press the M key, add in a new collection. And this is going to be called bridge up and then enter. So here we have a couple of different collections now. We have a shuffle and then bridge up. So let's go over to the bridge up collection by hitting three on our keyboard. We're not gonna need any of these keyframes. So I'm gonna select them all, X, and then delete the keyframes. All right, so here we have this playing card. And the first step is to move the origin point to the center right here. I'm gonna press shift C to snap my cursor to the center of the world. Then I'm gonna right click, set origin, and then origin to 3D cursor. Now the origin is right there, and what we can do is go over to the modifier, and if we bring up the angle, here is how this is gonna work, as you can see. So we're going to bring the angle down, and then we're gonna move the card up at the exact same time. So now let's get on to animating. With the simple deform, I'm gonna add in a keyframe on frame 95, and then I'm gonna skip over to frame 112. We're gonna set this to negative 85, enter, and then add in another keyframe. And there we go, we now have a animation of the card bending down. The next step is to actually move them upwards while they're bending down. But before we do that, we're gonna duplicate them because if we don't, then they're just gonna be in the exact same position. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in, press Shift D and then right click. Make sure you open up this duplicate menu and underneath the Z direction, we're gonna go 0. 0.00034 and then enter. That is two times up, and then we can press the Shift R button. And if you look on the bottom right, we're gonna go up to 26 cards. So I'll press this 26 times right there. And then we're going to select them all, duplicate it, and place it on the other side. 
So come up here and make sure the pivot point is to the 3D cursor. And what we can do is press Shift D, right click, then R, Z, and 180, and then Enter. And then of course we need to move them up because they're in the exact same position. So I'm gonna zoom in, press a G, Z, and then type 0 .00017 and enter. And there we go, we now have all the cards in place. Now if we go back and we play this, you can see they just come down. The next step is to actually animate them moving upwards. So on frame 95, I'm gonna select everything, hit I, and add in a location keyframe. Next up, we're gonna to skip to frame 110, not 112, 110. And the reason we're going to 110 is because of this. I'll just demonstrate it real quick. If I drag this up and place it on the grid floor and then add in a location keyframe, you'll notice that once we play this, the cards actually go into the floor. And that's not gonna really look good in the animation. So instead, what we're gonna do is go to frame 110 and then drag this up. And since it's two frames before, we also need to drag it up a little bit higher than the grid floor, so right about there. Then hit I and add in a location keyframe. So now what happens is if we restart and play it, you can see that they don't enter the floor at all and they just come up just like that. And then we'll go to frame 112 and make sure they are resting on the floor. It looks like there's a little bit of a gap, so I'm gonna go back slightly, drag it just a little bit down I and then add in a location keyframe and then skip to 112 and there we go they're resting right on the floor. Now on to actually shuffling the cards. What we're going to do is minus this collection so it's collapsed and then we're going to select the bottom uh, card right here this bottom one shift D and then right click. I'm going to press M and move it to its own collection and I'm going to call it bridge and then down. Then hit OK. And then to go to that collection, you can hold the control key and then just left click on the eye. And now we're on this collection. So we have this animation of it coming up, but how do we get it to come down? If we were to change the angle like this and go up, we can see it doesn't really look that good. So instead, what we're gonna do is move the origin point yet again to the bottom corner right here. So make sure you're past frame 112 and then just delete these keyframes. We're not gonna need them. Then we're gonna go into edit mode on this card. Make sure you have face select enabled and select this back face right here. If I can select it, there we go. I'm gonna move the origin point to that position. So press shift S, cursor to selected to snap our cursor to that point. Then we can right click, set origin, and then origin to 3D cursor. We can see here this is what happened, but don't worry. I'm gonna press the alt key and then G to snap it to the center of the world. Then we'll go into front view. I'm gonna drag it over to the right side and then rotate it up, but we can see it's still rotating along the cursor. So I'm gonna come up here and change it back to the medium point. And then I'm gonna rotate this up and place it in the exact same position as the bridge up collection. So what we'll do is we'll re-enable this and then just position it right in line. So I'll zoom in here and I'll press G and then move it right here. Zoom in, you can go into wireframe as well and just position it right in the middle of it. Then we'll go to the other side up here and just double check that it's in the right place. So you can press the R key and then rotate it. You can hold shift to go more precise and place it right in the middle, right about there. It doesn't need to be perfect, just right in the center is pretty good. And now we are ready to start animating it coming down. I'm gonna go back to collection four by hitting four on my keyboard. And now let's animate this. So what we're gonna do is skip to frame 115 and then add in a keyframe to the angle. So come over here and click that button to add in a keyframe. And we're also gonna add in a single keyframe to the Y rotation. So come up here, right click, and then click on insert single keyframe. This is important. You don't wanna click on insert keyframes because that will do the entire thing. You wanna select insert single keyframe. This will only have the one in the Y rotation. This way, when we duplicate it, we can rotate it along the Z and it won't affect it. Next up, we're gonna to skip to 120, so five frames later, and then we're gonna rotate everything down. So set the Y to zero, and then right click and go insert single keyframe, and then set the angle in the simple deform to zero as well, and then add in another keyframe. So here is our animation. It comes up, and then it comes down just like that. Now that we've added in those keyframes, we are now ready to start duplicating. So I'm gonna zoom in here, press Shift D, and just repeat the exact same process. Set the Z direction to 0.00034, enter, and then press Shift R until we get 26. 
So look on the bottom right once again, 26. And then we're going to go into the dope sheet and then offset the keyframes. I'm gonna press N and then open up the new window by dragging this outwards, selecting this button here and going over to the dope sheet. Here is our keyframes. And again, we're just gonna repeat the process that we did in the shuffle card tutorial. So I'll select all of them, but the top one, G, and then move it over two times. And a pretty fast way of doing this is if I B for box select, draw with our middle mouse to deselect, you can press G two and then left click, and that saves a bit of time. So box select, G two, left click. So again, we're just gonna repeat this process going all the way across, and then we're gonna duplicate it on the other side. And there we go, we've now offset all of the keyframes. So now let's duplicate the entire thing right here and then move it over. So I'm gonna to skip two frame just somewhere over there, select the entire thing. I'm also gonna press Shift C to snap my cursor to the center of the world, set the pivot point back to the 3D cursor, Shift D and then right click. We're gonna rotate this 180 degrees and then we're also gonna move it up. So you can press G, Z, 0.00017, enter. And there we go. We're also gonna offset all of these keyframes by one. So press C for circle select and just select them all. Press G, one, left click, and you should be good there. So now let's see what this looks like. If we play our animation, here is the effect. You also wanna make sure that they're not intersecting and in this case they aren't, which is good. And then they fall down. So there we go, that looks pretty good. We're also gonna close off this panel, we're not going to need it anymore. And the next step is to bring these cards together. To do this, we're gonna go into front view and then go over to the shuffle collection up here. So press two on your keyboard and we're gonna move our cursor up to frame 93 and zoom in. I'm going to place all of the cards in the bridge down in this exact position. So I will select the bottom card right here, shift S and go cursor to select it. Then we'll go back to our bridge down so we know where that location is. So go over to bridge down by pressing four, select all of these. And before we actually move them, we're gonna go to frame 75 and then add in a keyframe to everything. So select them all, I, and add in a location keyframe. Then we'll skip to frame 90 right here, select only half of them, make sure you select only half and then move them into place. So you can press G and then X and move them over and position it right in the middle of the cursor. So right about there looks good. Right about there, then hit I, location. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So go back over to the shuffle card uh, collection, select one of these on the left side here. Select this one, yep, the origin point is right there. Shift S and go cursor to selected, so it snaps it right there. Then we'll go back over to collection four, so hit four on your keyboard. Select all of these cards and then move them into place. So I'll press G and X, move them over, zoom in, and make sure you're on frame 90, right there, 190. Zoom in and place it right in the center, right about there looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna, you're not gonna even notice it. So right about there, I, location. All right, so we've created the entire animation, but we have an issue. All of the cards are in different collections and if we render them all, it's just gonna look like a jumbled mess. How we're gonna fix this is by animating the visibility of the different collections using collection instances. Now there is a way to do it in the view layer, which I'll probably be creating a tutorial on later. I wanted to use this method though, because it's pretty cool. What we'll do first is hide all of these from this layer. So I'm just gonna uncheck all of them. Then I'm gonna press Shift C to snap my cursor to the center and zero to go into camera view. I'm gonna press Shift A and go underneath the collection instance and then add in the shuffle cards. We're gonna skip all the way to frame 95 right here, and then come up to the top menu, select the camera icon, and we're going to be animating this value. So on frame 95, I'm gonna hit I while hovering over this, go over to the next frame, uncheck this, and then hit I again, because this is when we want the bridge up collection to be visible. I'm gonna press Shift A and add that in now, so go over to the collection instance, select bridge up, and then on frame 95, so over in the outliner, I'm going to uncheck the camera icon and then add in a keyframe by hitting I. I'm gonna to go to the next frame, frame 96, 
and enable this and then hit I one more time. This collection right here is gonna to last to 115. So we're gonna to skip to 115, the frame number right here, and then just turn this off and then add in a keyframe. You don't need to add another keyframe beside it because it will just automatically do it. You can see it's on. The next frame, it's off, and that's exactly what we want. Next up, we're gonna add in the bridge down collection. So I'm gonna press Shift A, go underneath collection instance, and then click on bridge down. This one is going to be enabled on frame 115. So I'm gonna go over to frame 114, uncheck this and hit I while hovering over it, go over to the next frame and then enable it by clicking on that button there and adding in another keyframe. This one is going to last till 190. So we're gonna to skip to frame 190, uncheck this and then add in another keyframe. And then for the shuffle, we're gonna bring that back on frame 190, so re-enable it and then hit I one more time. And there we go, that was it. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you got lost in there, just rewind the video. But that is basically it. And now what we can do is just render this out and it will work seamlessly. One other problem that we have is in the bridge down collection. All of these cards right here are sharing that exact UV map. You can see they're all using the three of clubs. So what you could do is make sure they're all selected, go into edit mode and press A once or twice to make sure everything is selected and then open up the UV map and then move them into place. I'll show you real quick how to do that. If we switch over to the UV image editor, we can see all of our UV maps are located in this spot. So what I'll do is I'll just press L while hovering over it. That will only select one of them and then I'll just move it over. So what you would have to do is just move them over for every single frame. So I'm gonna press Alt A to deselect. L to select only one of them. I'll move them over this way. So you would repeat this process for every single one of these cards, but I can't be bothered to do that because that's too tedious. What I'll do instead is I'll go into camera view, go back to our first collection, I'll select it and I'll just drag it upwards and then rotate it like this and place it this way so you can't even see the cards. So doing it this way, you won't be able to see the underside of the cards, but it will also save your brain from exploding from boredom by moving every single UV map. But there you go, that is how you bridge cards in Blender. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you created this yourself, feel free to send it to me on Instagram at BlenderMadeEasy. If you have other ideas for tutorials, leave a comment down below. And if you're new, consider subscribing because I upload Blender tutorials all the time. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.